going to use. And Hello. Um, he's a the first character you um, find in the game, and he tells you to go to the nearby town to look around. And the game is a um, um, exploration adventure game. And. Show you the starting area around here. You start here near this, um, yeah, collapsed cave entrance, and then there's supposed to be a better looking campfire here. And he is the only one near the campfire, and then tells you to go to the town that's up here. follow the road. Um, yeah, most of it. Um, most of the environment as it's the stuff here um, I bought. Um, this character here is um, a Mixamo character that you can download for free at the moment. All the, the characters over there the, the guy with the glasses, that's um, me, basically. And I created him in, in the same pro program I was earlier in um, Adobe Fuse. And it's all free at the moment, so you can um, play around with it on your own. And this person here, this girl, um, she's also from Mixamo. You can download her as well. Um, let's say six to eight weeks, maybe a bit longer. I started um, in the beginning of February and took some breaks here and there. And for the last uh, six to eight weeks, I. Um, did a bit of bit more work on it. I'm not sure how many weeks I'm streaming so far. I think it's nearing six weeks in a row. Um, but I did some work before that, and did a lot of different stuff. Um, all these houses here I didn't make myself. They they are um, created out of um, modular assets that I bought in the asset store. And the map itself is kind of big. You saw the, the starting area here and around here is the, the village. 
and there's another area here um the thing is I cheated a lot to be honest um I'm using a plugin um, called Gaia and in Gaia I can create um, so-called stems <laughs> yeah and that these stems created the terrain for me basically and I combined different stems together to make the terrain look like it is and then I just used these um, different scripts here and they placed the, the textures in the right spots, placed most of the trees and the grass and stuff like that. And Gaia also comes with a nice lighting setup to start your out with. And you can change the lighting in a few clicks. It would have taken much longer if I had to do all that on my own, so it's really nice that I had access to that. And all this is the the land and the the game is based on a um pen and paper role playing session I had with some friends last year and I wanted to do a bit more level design just to practice a bit and after we played our session I said okay I want to create this world and the brewery we ended up in and it kind of grew from that idea and then all the work I put in. And the brewery is way over on the other side of the mountain, but I have a shortcut over there so that I don't have to run there all the time. And I have a few scripts here that I wrote myself and one of them is a teleport script that just teleports me to the other side. Um, yeah, maybe, but I have a lot of gripes with it and a lot of stuff I want to change <laughs> um, before I'm I want to release it, so it's still a lot of work to, to be done in here. And this is the interior of the brewery that we just stood in front of. And here I have a few characters sitting around playing animations. Um, they are below the stream. There should be some information about, about them, yeah. There are no optimizations in this yet and looks like it runs really fast but um, I'm not sure if it will run on um, all systems the same way so and my computer is kind of a beast too as you can see by the stats down there yeah, and this is uh, like I said this fuse and I used this to create my characters <laughs> I 
Nope. Nope. And the thing is, Titans are worse than my... The Titan itself has a few stats that it's better in, but most of the, the Titan is um, worse than the um, 980 I have in here. And the thing is, the Titan is for specific other aspects and um, so it's it's a bit different and they are quite expensive that's a, the other thing yeah But um, I never really saw the need for um, was it, um, SLI or Crossfire or stuff like that, other than just maxing out everything and doing really crazy up or down scaling and stuff like that. I don't need that. Totally fine with one graphics card in there. If that one is powerful enough to run most games, awesome. Um, the thing is, I don't really have to deal with render times as such. Um, the, the times where I um, kind of slowed down is when I'm working with lighting. Um, yeah, maybe for studio that's doing PC games or console games, yes, definitely. If the studio is aiming for mobile, it will have lower specs, because you don't need that much for mobile. And it all depends on the, the budget the different firms have. So, if it's a small game company, then might have um, lower spec systems. Or maybe one or two that are a bit better. <laughs> um, in some cases, yes, in other cases, maybe not, because I'm not really dealing with um, render stuff or um, sculpting models or stuff like that. Um, I have, like I said, when, when I'm running lighting for interior um, scenes, then my PC is nearly unusable for anything else but maybe watching a video on on the side, but um, I have to start the video before I'm doing the light build, light map build, and uh, then I have to pray that it doesn't um, doesn't stutter in some cases. But and most other stuff I can't do when I'm doing lighting. It's 